I've always drawn. I've also always made books. But drawing is is just it comes from my hand. It's just it's it's my it's just what I do. I, I don't even think about it. I draw every day of my life. I've always drawn. When I was young, my father was a drafter for Studebaker in Indiana, where we lived. And I was uh, probably in kindergarten or even younger, and he started bringing me home drafting tools. So right off the bat, when I was very young, I was using professional tools to draw. No crayons for me. <laughs> um, and um, I, from, from then on, I just, every day, that was my work, every day. Um, drawing is, in some way, it's a tiny miracle. To me, I start with a white piece of paper, and then I create something, and it, it, it's astonishing to me that that can happen. And then how does the drawing proceed into a finished work, whatever kind of work that is? Drawing is often the beginning of an idea for a book. I, I draw if I have an idea, for example, right now I'm working on a book based on a quote from Gertrude Stein's book, Paris, France. And I read, I, I, I read the quote when I was in college, and I, I thought about it for years. What, what the quote talks about is the practice of writers having to live in two countries. One is where they actually live and the other is where they do their work. And I find that such an incredibly compelling visual idea. Uh, I, in the book I have a picture of Gertrude Stein with a house on her head. And so it's just, it's a way of, drawing is a way of thinking about Combining what I'm thinking about with what I can do with my hands, if that makes sense. I love paper. I'm a paper hoarder, actually. I love the versatility of it. Um, for example, I, you know, of course I can use it to draw with or make book pages with, but also it is so, you, you're, I, can, I can manipulate it into objects like the keys and the locks and then cover them with another kind of paper. The locks and key project uh, started, Gabrielle and I go to, used to go to Italy every year and we'd always come back with big Italian locks and big keys and I we have a nice collection of them and I decided to make them out of paper and so I I did and then I needed to cover them so I used Italian guidebook pages painted as the, the outer material for the keys. It's uh, it I feel like with drawing and paper there's so much possibility. It all starts with a blank sheet of paper and it goes from there. <laughs> when I did the series Almost Home, was about the long trips of getting to different places and the places that had meaning to me. For example, driving over the Mackinac Bridge to get to the island where my parents lived. All those bridges were a moment in time when I realized that I'm almost there. Like if I hit the Mackinac Bridge, it's one hour still. 
or if I'm on the Zakum Bridge, I know that I'll be home in about 20 minutes. I use maps because I think maps are beautiful for one thing, but I use them also as a sense of knowing where I am in relation to somewhere else, something that I want to, where I want to go or a place that I've been that has meaning. I use a sense of place because it's important for me in the world to take notes. And by take notes, I mean drawing the places and the objects along the way to those places that have meaning. Silent Sentinels book because I was at the Women's March a couple of years ago and there was someone holding a sign that said, I've been holding this sign for a hundred years. And I thought, what happened a hundred years ago? And I started digging into it and I read about the Silent Sentinels. I had never heard of them before, which I couldn't believe. And so I started drawing, I, I started with a big drawing, uh, of a big long drawing of the Silent Sentinels standing in front of the White House, and then I decided to make a print and make it into a book form and tell the story of them. I have to say that most people that I've shown this book to had never heard of them. I want the word out there. They were amazing, what they did. They stood out there for two and a half years, except for Sundays, and went through all sorts of horrible treatment, but they continued. And then women got the right to vote, so they're heroes. The sense of women's work to me, I think of, you know, my grandmother taught me how to, how to sew and embroider, and I still use those skills in my work. Uh, the cover of the Gertrude Stein book is, is embroidered. I don't set out to make women's work, but I make work based on my experience and, and the things that are important to me, interesting to me in my life are the things that I want to make work about. Mm -hmm. And I'm a woman, I'm a mother. Um, so yeah. I'm making work about life. <laughs>